Hello, my name is Ed Stanley. I've been in the carpentry trade for over 40 years. My specialty is in concrete forming. Today's date, June 17, 2018. Today's topic is a hardware used in concrete wall forming. Within this, we'll be discussing the hardware application, its terminology, and what is required for safety. These are the most commonly types of hardware used on a concrete wall project. Here what I have is a John A bracket, or on a job site can be called a cowbell. Maybe that's why we call it a cowbell. Here is an Ami wedge clamp, which is also called on a job site a hairpin. Whaler brackets, which we call also on a job site fingers. a corner bracket, a turnbuckle, a form aligner, and these are snap ties. They come in various sizes for wall thicknesses. Also the ends come in either long or short. In some cases we might have to extend a tie. On the short ones we have a John A extender. Okay, and these are also called on a job site, chicken feet. They incorporate like that inside the John A extender and thus creating a long tie. And I'll explain to these once we get on to our project. Before we get started, safety first. Let's start with my clothing attire. Work boots, steel toes, a steel shank at the bottom of the sole protecting from nails puncturing through my boot heavy-duty clothing, long sleeve shirt, gloves to protect my hands, a vest, safety vest, reflecting tape, high visible among equipment that might be around me on a job site, safety glasses, side shields, ANSI approval, and of course, wouldn't go anywhere without my hard hat. To demonstrate the hardware that we discussed, I built two mock-ups, a single whaler, and a double whaler wall form. Let's begin with the single whaler wall and how the hardware is applied. As I said earlier, a snap tie comes in various sizes. The cone determines the thickness of that wall. It acts as a spreader and with the hardware acts as a holder to keep the form in place. In this case, a John A bracket is used, as we can see here, on a John A or a cowbell, giving us enough room with clearance for anywhere between uh, five eighths or three quarters of a plywood, more standard. As we can see here, it's used and how it's applied. We would have poke in on the opposite side a snap tie. The cone is bearing up against the plywood. On the opposite side, our cowbell, or our John A bracket, is slid into the grooves. As the tie comes through, the cowbell is set in it. The hardware snaps around the tie, thus the coupling cap keeps the snap tie in place. And in this case, keeping the wall thickness at 8 inches. Outside a cone to outside a cone. Hardware applied on the opposite side here with the John A bracket and a 2x4 held in place a horizontal 2x4 which is known as a whaler. The next piece of hardware used on a single whaler John A wall is the Ami wedge or the hairpin, also commonly used name on the job site. To install that as you can see right here is what we call strong back. Two vertical 2x4s, 3.5 inches in thickness, using with the Omni wedge to tighten them up, thus 
creating this wall to be nice and strong, vertical, and there will be no bows in it. The horizontal whalers straightens up the plywood to be vertically straight. And applying that, once again, with two two by fours, on either side, if you notice on the long ties, perfectly designed for what we call the strong back use. The army wedge, or the hairpin, thus is installed by inserting over and through the tie. And with the small snug up with the hammer. Now if you notice, also, there's little holes drilled into this hardware. The idea of those little holes is to install a nail. Just enough just to hold that from vibrating loose. Because when this concrete wall is being poured with concrete, they consolidate the concrete by a vibrator, which is dropped down into the form. As it vibrates the panel, these can get loose and vibrate up. So a nail in the little holes on the wedge clamp or the hair, hair pins, they do the job of keeping that in steady. Our next concrete application is our turnbuckle form aligner. What this does, as you can see installed on a 2x4, has holes at the bottom where it can be nailed down to the floor. Now into the strong back and pushing outward or inward, aligning the wall up to be perfectly plumb. Using a level as I would demonstrate. Okay, now in order to plumb the wall vertical, I must install a turnbuckle. In order to do that, the turnbuckle is equipped with holes to carry a 16 duplex nail. Duplexes are made to be able to pull out a lot easier with the head sticking up so the hammer uh, can be able to get with the claw and pull out. Now I'm installing a few nails and making sure I have enough room to either push out with the turnbuckle or pull in. So I have a nice clearance area in between, as you can see there. Installing it on my strong back. And once again, a 16 duplex nail will be appropriate. I'll nail it to the strong back first. Usually about two to three nails would be sufficient for a 16 duplex. And now I'll secure the turnbuckle to the floor. Oops. Well, again with the 16 duplex. Once the turnbuckle is nailed to the floor and the straw back, I now can get a four foot level and proceed to plumb the wall. Looks like I gotta bring the wall in a little bit. Another quick check. Okay, the next hardware I would like to show you on a single whaler or a a uh, double whaler wall, John A wall, is a John A snap tie extender. As you can see, this tie is inserted in here, leaving an opportunity for a nail to go through, bent. And the tie itself now can be extended from a short tie 
which only a cowbell or a John A bracket can be used to now where we can actually add in a vertical strong back to two by fours vertically and extending this tie longer so we will have space enough for the tie to come through and a hairpin or a army wedge to be connected at the end. Thus like this. I'll remove the John E bracket. and add the extenders on them. And the snap tie extenders are again out in a job site common terminology would be a chicken feed. An eight duplex works very well for this. Now applying my vertical strong backs And the army wedge or the hairpin. And now I have a strong back where it used to be a John A or a cowbell. By adding a chicken feet on a snap tie, a snap tie extender, give me an opportunity to go with a strong back. Another type of hardware is a corner lock, John A corner lock. These are commonly used to create when you got two walls that are coming together, the back side. To eliminate the use of extra material, a corner lock is put on, as you can see how this one is applied. Nailed on to the horizontal whaler and to the opposite side of the wall to the other horizontal whaler. Pushing in the locking mechanism locks the corner together. As if it's applied, Thus, nailing into the nail insert. Once that's nailed in, the corner lock is just basically pushed over, snugging the whalers, pulling them too tight to each other, locking them in. What this creates is an opportunity to eliminate what normally we, we use is a log cavity, extra material. A two by will be applied on top, extending out. and a two by nailing up as a lacing tool to lock in and nail against that. So these horizontal two by fours will have uh, pressure up against here, nailed to this, it will hold these in place. But the corner lock eliminates all this excessive necessary two by fours to use for a log cabinet when all is necessary is a corner lock, saving us material and time. So once again the hardware that was just used and discussed was used mainly on a single whaler John A wall. We had our hairpins commonly used on the job site, our wedge anchors, our army wedge wedges. We had a turnbuckle that we used for pushing and pulling, aligning the walls up. We had our corner locks to eliminate Added cost of material uh, with the, um, a lacing and a 
log cabin on the outside of that corner. And uh, we also have our John A. Bracket, our, our cowbell, most commonly used. And we showed how an extender, the chicken leg, or the chicken seat, was to be added on to a tie to extend it so we can get a longer tie to incorporate a strong back vertical studs, which it helps align the form tied onto the, the snap tie. Well, the hardware you just seen that we use on a single whaler wall is typical on a double whaler wall, but some aren't necessary and some can't be used. Our John A bracket or our cowbell. As you notice, this one here works on a single whaler, as you can see right here, where the whaler is attached to the plywood. But on our double whaler wall, the tie being short to work with the cowbell cannot be used because the tie extends further, as if it had a chicken foot on it but these ties are made to be extra longer without the need of a chicken foot. But as you can notice, these are vertical studs. This here wall was made as a panel, as a top and a bottom plate. Having two by fours can be spaced whatever the engineer desires. In this case, 16 inches on center. With that spacing, the panel was built and the plywood is vertically straight plumb. Now, to make that wall strong, the only uh, application of hardware that can be used with our ties is our army wedge or our hairpin. And by the way, there is other names out in the field. You'll probably need to learn those out in the field. Can't be mentioned here. Now, on the double whaler, we need something to hold this whalers in place. On this wall, the horizontal two by fours acts upon pressure up against the vertical studs in the panel. The tie extends through with a army wedge anchor or a hairpin. In order to have these 2x4 stationary on a wall that can be tied onto the wall and kept in, in place on the wall as the panel is moved from one place to another after it's been poured and taken apart, what is used that we haven't discussed yet are the fingers. The fingers, basically, as you can see here, in this application, are here with a little, right, that little uh, hook area in there, butts up against a 2x4, keeping an area for a 2x4 horizontal whaler to be attached and be held in proper place. A wedge anchor is thus incorporated with that, coming through the fingers or the whaler bracket, most commonly used name, and fingers. And in some cases has a little attachment to hold the whaler bracket in, but if that attachment is gone, like in this case, a nail can't be put through and that tie, the hairpin, can be thus put in and held in place. Well, that concludes my demonstration on the hardware used in concrete wall forming. My name is Ed Stanley, and have a good day and be safe.